Hi everyone, Sue from uh, Craft and Journals. Welcome to my craft room today. I'm going to do my Marguerite Miller Take 3 October collage. Um, now the images that Marguerite's provided this time to me are sort of Halloween-y. So we've got this one here and you'll notice there's um, a skull and some birds up the top there. So to me that was sort of a, a creepy Halloween-y sort of vibe. Uh, we have this, which um, I guess kind of looks like wallpaper. And this here, which to me looks like it's part of some sort of money from somewhere, not sure where. So they're the three images that we've been provided with. <clears throat> what I've also grabbed is, I've grabbed this off-cut piece of paper from Authentique. Um, it's from the Masquerade paper collection and this is number five uh, so that's the other side of this one and this was left over from another project I did for Auntie Vera I also have um, these two little printables that I uh, printed from the Graphics Fairy and I thought they might be um, kind of cool to go with those and of course the little thing that says October. Alright, so I've already done a background to save a little bit of time and all I did for that was a book page, uh, music paper and a bit of a printable there. So nothing too uh, fancy, just a back plain neutral-ish sort of background. Alright, so let's have a look. Um, my main image I guess um, somehow or other in the background I'm thinking and because this is sort of chopped in half I'm thinking maybe hmm, maybe something like that actually so that the blue and the blue of the dress sort of go together um, I always seem to have this same sort of layout. I was hoping to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm just wondering what I can do with this. Uh, yeah, I was planning on using this side because I figured I'd pick up the orangey colouring from here and the sort of that um, darkish grey brown colouring. So I'm just wondering what I'm going to do with it. I think I might just tear a piece. Um, maybe about that big. <clears throat> and we'll go from there. And that was not very straight. Oh dear, hang on. Let me just try and straighten that up. Nope, it's not going to work. Let's just use scissors, shall we? Okay, looks a little bit better. Yeah, all right. Um, I'll just take you down a little bit. That's better. For me anyway. That's better, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, quite like that. Um now that will probably just sit down there like so. And these two little bits, let's have a look. It um, be nice to get that part in actually, so it has to go this side I guess. Something like that. Maybe something like that actually. Quite like that, although I really would have preferred this over the other side. Let's just move things down a little bit. OK, 
Okay, yeah, I'm quite actually happy with that. All right, what I will do, um, I did distress the edges of almost, well, I have everything except the paper that I just ripped. So I'll do that and then uh, we'll stick them down. Let's just see if I can remember how I did them. That's usually my problem. Now I'm using black today. I have got some of the, what's this one? Walnut stain as well on some of them. I just changed my mind halfway through, but I don't think that really matters. Okay, so that was like so. So let's stick those down. I'm using art glitter glue today because I don't know, I haven't had a lot of success lately with the um, glue stick. I don't know why. It doesn't seem to have been sticking very well. Which way did I have it? That way, I think. This authentic paper is absolutely gorgeous. It really is sort of um, Halloween-y style to it, but it's also kind of got a masquerade, masquerade sort of theme too. So it's kind of really nice. Now that's not very straight. Now the downside to our glitter glue, it sticks very quickly. Now I'll just rip that a little bit. Let's see if we can fix that bit. A little bit of Distress ink should deal with that, I think. It'll be fine. Okay. Now, um, how do we have this? Um, sort of gluing in layers. So that I don't forget how I have it. I'm trying to glue in layers anyway. Okay, and then we'll glue the whole bit down. <clears throat> hope everybody is doing really well at the moment. It's nice and sunny outside. It's actually warmer outside than it is in my house at the moment. Um, it's nice to see the sun. We haven't seen any for a few days. So it is nice to see the sun. And things, um, the flowers are starting to pop out. We're um, in spring now, so the winter's gone. Well, in theory, it's gone. Um, the weather hasn't been too good. It's been quite cold for this time of the year. But um, we got a bit of sun today, so that's good. Okay, there we go. So that was a nice, quick, easy one. I must say, the um, when you've got the images and that's all you've got to use, it does make it a little bit easier and quicker. So I'll just lift that up a little bit and show you. I will pop a photo at the end of the video though. But that's my Take 3 October. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, I hope you'll join me for some of my other videos. Thank you very much. Bye for now.